Hello everybody and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Last part we were Connor at the place Marcus took over to broadcast, broadcast his message. News. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? It's a good question, North. And also we were Kara, and we, uh... Are getting out of Detroit, crossing there the border. Are five cyber life stores across Detroit. Only five? All selling us like merchandise. Thought that would be a bigger market. Attack those stores and set our people free. Oh, here we go. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems. Respected by Jericho. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. Eh, north. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. If I'm neutral this with her, why would she come with me? Remember. Okay. Right into the action, huh? No plan, no nothing. Just the way I like it. I've been waiting a long time for this. So how long have these people been deviants? Or these androids? Was it like months? Weeks? I forget where North said. She mentioned months. She like had a specific date. Run, Marcus. They won't recognize me. Doesn't matter, I don't have the LED. They don't know what my face looks like. I'm just a bald dude. It's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Alright. So how are we gonna attack these stores? Are we just gonna like uh like spray them? With spray paint. The doors over here. Swish, swish. Nice cars, man. All right. Well, there's one store. How are we gonna do this? Are we gonna set them free? That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Now that I know I can free them, I'll try and free them. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Ooh. Alright. What are we waiting for? Uh, that's a good question. Okay, front door. Uh, it's probably out of the option, right? Oh, can analyze it. You see the alarm system? Nope. That's a camera. Identify network. Found it. Ooh. That's cool. Alright. Circles this way. And off we go. Follow the trail. I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Hello, friend. Oh, I can convert them? I don't want to cause suspicion yet. Network access located. Okay, probably hop down. Oh. These two I can probably turn. Jump. Hello, friends. Do you know who I am? How can you do this? You're awake now. What if they don't want to be awake? Neil. Like, if Marcus can do this to Connor, would he still want to be like Connor? Or would he do something else completely? Enter loop created. Alright. Marcus, watch out! What's going on? Uh, hi. Oh, 
Okay, the light went right over me. Don't know how it didn't see me. I'm just a human in a hole. Nice job, Marcus. Thanks, North. I feel like we're gonna be BFFs. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. it won't be uh. easy to reach. All right. How do I get rid of you? Reconstruct route. Ooh. All right, I can see it's root. Gotta find the right location. Up, <laughs> too high. Up, oh, nope. Not what I meant to do. Uh, shit. How do I go back to that? Hey, let me uh, analyze you. Reconstruct. You don't have to take me through this whole thing again. I've already got it. All right, that doesn't work. What about this? Hey, I like how it just jumps for it all the time. Um. Oh, what was this? Backflip. Nope. Not even close. Why would you even think there? Oh, definitely right there. Drone can be reached from there. All right, gotta get into Swish. I'll free these androids after I deal with that. How do I lose it? It's on me. Oh wait, it's gonna go past me, isn't it? Yep. Up. Oh. Check. Pre-construct. Why am I pre-constructing this part? Um. Oh, here we go. Okay, from there, you go that way. Nope. Okay, what about this way? And then you hop up. Nailed it. Superman punch. All right, climb up. Attack! Got you this time. Damn, I'm getting good at that. That's two if I've already taken down. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Would have been a very quick time. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, how? What's up there? I can't even see. Marcus! What? Marcus, come look! Oh my god, North. Okay, uh, hello, friend. Convert. Hold on, North. Hey, it's a Ralph. You are free. What if I free the wrong android? What if they just don't want to be freed? What, can I free these guys? Hello, friends. You are free. Uh, North, what'd you want? Oh, this? What is this? Truck exit. Exactly what we need to ram this door. Oh, we're gonna ram it. Okay, I thought we were blocking the road. Up, oh, up, oh, hang on. Friends, do you wish to be freed? You're welcome. And sir, you too shall be set free. L2, R2. Up. Oh, here we go. North, how'd you do that? Now. All right, sweet. Um, I could keep converting. Looks like the plaza is secure. Now we can get inside the store. But let's okay, let's go get the truck. Oh, why are we taking the truck? Can we just walk in? Hang on. 
No, I guess we just need the truck. All right. I can still free people. I got seven minutes. Be free. Be free, Ralph. Is that Ralph? Uh, I think it is. You're awake yep. Now. Go to Jericho. Goodbye, friend. Uh, to accommodate the invention of androids, which released humanity from the bonds of labor, setting man free to pursue high goals and scale the heights of learning, love, and leisure. We are superior to them, but they are our masters. That's about to change. Okay. Open sesame. Up, oh, it's locked. Use your Android strength. Oh, are you gonna jump it? X, 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 X. Nailed it. All right. Okay, uh, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Do you know how to drive a truck? R1, L1. So can androids just hack into anything they want? I wonder what you do without me. Uh, talk to myself probably. Nothing else really. Yeah. I mean, you could have done that while I got in the truck, get it started, you know, help out some way north. See, like, all that time I got in, shut the door, you could have done that. Alright, time to drive. Oh, this thing is an auto drive? What a ripoff. Alright, thank god I don't have to steer. That would crash into so many things. Alright, North. Buckle in. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Oh yeah. Ramsey, get out. I don't want you to get hurt. No fun for you. Let's do it. Woo! Oh, I thought that was a lot sooner. Here we go. Hello, party people. It would have been really bad if I hit one of these androids. That was fun. Get out. Okay, everyone awaken. Let me clap. And you shall awake. Be a lot more easier if it worked that way. Hello? You don't have to obey them. You're free. So am I the only one that can do this? Like, North can't. No one else from Jericho can. Alright, time for all these models. You know, as in the last part, like... Uh, Kara's- Hey, Simon! Kara's character? She's like the essential housemaid android. Yet, uh, you don't see much of her. Like, there's that, like, it's obviously the one carrier you see, and then a bunch of magazine covers. Okay, how do I talk to you guys? Am I gonna be like a messiah? Big speech? There we go. I am your master now. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. If Carl can see me now. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us 
who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us. <laughs> by the north. And fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're uh, with you. I'm expecting class. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, another Luther. No, it's not Luther. It's the other guy. All right. Lot going up. Then follow me. Up. Oh, guess I'm walking. Marcus, what are you doing? I don't know. Send the humans a message. Uh. I feel like so many other gamers go for the pacifist event or pacifist like a uh, path. I want to go violent. You know, Connor is the good guy, good cop. I want Marcus to be the exact opposite. We are going to destroy humans. Bench. Doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. I guess. The more you break, the more violent you are. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's actually like percentage wise. Oh, what? Oh, what am I doing? The screens. Right, how could I forget? Turn off? Oh. Alright. The statue's gotta be something, right? Destroy the human part? What would be the pacifist thing here? Attack. Alright. Destroy. And down we go. And good night. We'll never be slaves again. All right, what's left? The cars? I can just hear stuff breaking all over the place. Oh wait, street lights. Uh, block out. We are fucking this city up. Move on road or up turn? I'll help you. Thank you, North. See, I can't tell if you can hear this because when I was editing it, it didn't sound like it. They're sounding more robotic. What is that? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> North is my companion now. Is that like a Molotov or a bomb? See ya. Molotov it was. 100% violent. And zero percent pacifist. Do it. Burn it all. See if I can get 110 percent. Boom. No, nope. won't go any higher. Destroy. Over here. Like I feel like the more. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but like the more you act a certain way, the more robotic they sound. It happened with Connor in one part, but when I edited it, it didn't sound like it at all. Are you proud of yourself, Marcus? We freed hundreds of our people. Like we that did. sounds. Marcus. Who is that? Marcus, what's wrong? What? They're coming. Yep. Everyone fall back to Jericho. I feel like that was like a telekinesis. Or now humans will have no choice but to mind control, mind voice. Don't be afraid. 
Fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. Okay, well, I'm getting good with North. I feel like Josh might hate me even more now. Marcus, your face! This way. North. Oh, shit. How'd they get over there? Oh, my God. North. All right, what happened? North! They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Well, you see the way we're acting? Who? Am I going to have to make a choice here? Something very impactual? I mean, I'll totally go for, like, city violence. I don't know about killing. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Mm. Oh, where'd you get that from? I mean, why'd you stop at those, like, four? No crime against an android shall go unpunished. Broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several major districts across the city. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area this frame rate, were though. discovered <laughs> near one of the Cyber Life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Mm. I just, I, I need to see how many people. I just, I just need to see how many people. Thirteen <laughs> percent for a violent riot. Oh, fifteen percent killed. Wow. Oh, wait, can you not make the police arrive? How would you do that? Wow, I was in the negative for so much. Yeah, well, too many people are probably making Marcus like the peaceful dominator. Just, uh, that's what I would usually do, but I want to try something different. All right, let's, let's continue. We're Kara again. Wow, an episode. Or no, we're Connor. I was going to say, wow, an episode with no Connor. As much as, like, Marcus is like the poster boy, literally, for the game cover. I feel like Connor is like the main character. Like, out of all three. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Like, right there, it sounds just a little bit robotic. Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. Who? They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. Wonder who did it. <laughs> Came a father three months ago. Oh, fuck! Why did it have to be him? Oh, I feel way worse now. <laughs> I didn't know Officer Miller well, but oh, if I knew that, I wouldn't have killed him. Person. Yeah. I'm 
sorry, Lieutenant. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Oh, Anybody that's who he is. Anybody tell us about Deviants, it's him. Oh, okay. Hey, Chloe! <laughs> it's about time you're in this game. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Thank you. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Wear your shoes. All right, Hank. Um, where's that him? Is that Kamsky? Why does he look familiar too? Let me analyze this. What the hell was that? <laughs> yep, that's Kamsky. Uh, Cyberlife founder. Resigned in 2028. Nope. Okay. Nice girl. You're right. She's At least for now. Pretty. Ooh, is Connor in love? Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. At least not yet. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Um... Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Amanda? Is that Amanda? Huh. Uh. What? 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 Amanda Stern. Born uh, 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 May 14th, 1978. Died February 23rd, 2027. She's dead? Who have I been talking to? Is that an android? An android Amanda? Did Elijah, like, specially make her? Does Connor know this? He seems like a bit stunned. Meet my creator face to face. Space tourism on the rise. A couple of things I'd want to tell him. Yeah, like what? Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. I think I've been reading about this. A new app plus headset allows for live translation of all languages. That seems pretty cool. Zero gravity subway to connect. New York City and DC in 45 minutes. Wow. Alright, is there anything I'll take a check out? Nope, we're still just waiting. Can I analyze this again? See what. Oh, hello. Elijah will see you now. Thank you. I'll go first. Oh, hello. Elijah? Uh, what you got going on Mr. here, Kansky. man? Just a moment, please. What are you doing? You're just... There you go. I was gonna say, this is like blood, but I think it's just like the water. Or the color of the pool inside. Hello, Chloe's. Alright, yeah, do your strokes. We'll wait. So, it's at least three Chloe's we got here. How many more you got, man? This is a nice view. Where are we? Is that Detroit? I have no idea.
Are they just talking to each other? Alright. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect sure. beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Uh. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? What about me? Whose side are you on? Uh... I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. Not creepy at all. Flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Uh, what? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. I'm not gonna kill her, she didn't do anything. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Hank? Okay, I think we're done here. Okay, right, Hank says we're done. Go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more your important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Connor is on the side of life. Decide who you are. But if they're gonna fucking attack me, then I'll shoot them. I got no problem with that. machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. I'm not... Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I don't care what you know. I ain't shooting, no question. Fascinating. Not even up for debate. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. You're not my owner. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. Oh. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. That makes sense. <laughs> You'll have to choose your side. 
Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What do you mean by emergency exit? Self-destruct? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I you didn't want I me to shoot her either. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Going up with Hank. Can me and Hank end up being family? Like it says that with Kara and Alice, can it happen with me and Hank? Kinship. Okay. Yeah, wow. If you shot her, it would have gone on. More choices. Yeah. How many people? 85%. Majority, I think I'm going to stay with Connor. Because I want Connor to be the good guy. You know, spare people, save people. Only go after deviants, really. Marcus, I'm going to send him down a dark path. Because it's probably not what you usually see if you're watching this on YouTube. You probably see like, oh, I'll make him a peaceful, you know, kind of guy. You want equal rights, that's it. No violence, nothing. I said I didn't want Marcus killing anyone, but he's gone down a dark path. So let's pause when I take control of Marcus, I think. It's Jericho. Alright, I'm in control. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to drop it down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.